we're going to show you how to make a party backdrop for your next party or event. To begin, you'll need to work out the design look you'd like to create. You could opt for straight, wavy or zigzag edges. We're going for curvy edges. We're going to make three party backdrops at three different heights, 2200, 1800 and 1500 millimetres. Once you've decided on your pattern, create a template using a piece of 3mm MDF sheet, approximately one metre long. Then mark out your desired pattern to the edge of the MDF sheet. You can have a few goes at the shape until you get it right. Once you're happy, cut out your template using a jigsaw. We're using MDF as it will give you a better, more accurate template over cardboard. Using the template you just created, trace it onto your first 2200 by 1200 by 6mm MDF sheet along the sides and top. The trick is to start on the top of the MDF and then work your way down the edges to ensure you have perfect curves. Once the pattern is traced all the way around, cut out the shape using a jigsaw. Try to get the curves as accurate as possible, but any rough edges can be sanded off with an orbital sander for a neat finish. Make sure you wear a suitable dust mask while sanding. Using the first sheet as a template, place it on top of an 1800 by 1200 MDF sheet and use a pencil to trace. Then cut this out with a jigsaw and give it a sand. To create your 1500mm high backdrop, take another piece of 1800mm MDF and measure and mark 1500mm down from the top. Draw a line and then cut it to size. Then, trace and jigsaw as you've done in the previous step. To ensure your backdrops are secure and stable while upright, we're going to add backing support. You'll need to make three rectangles from your 70 by 45 pine. They will be 800 millimetres wide and approximately 200 millimetres shorter than the height of your backdrop. So in our case, we'll cut vertical lengths at 1900, 1600 and 1300 millimetres. Once lengths have been cut, attach together using wood adhesive and mending plates. To ensure your support backings are square, you'll need to attach a cross brace to each rectangle. Measure and cut your cross braces, then adhere with wood glue and screw into place with mending plates. Now it's time to attach the backing rails to your party backdrops. Make sure your frame is in the centre of your party backdrop board and that it is flush with the bottom of the frame then adhere and screw into place for extra strength. Next, you'll need to create the legs for your backdrop to sit on using 70 by 45 millimetre framing pine. For all three backdrops, the leg base will measure 450 millimetres long. For the vertical lengths, you will need four verticals cut at 600 millimetres for the 1500 and 1800 millimetre backdrops and two lengths at 800 millimetres for your 2200 millimetre backdrop. Cut one end on a 45 degree angle. This will become one half of a French cleat in a later step. Once all pieces have been cut, you can construct the leg base. Mark out your centre point on the base and attach the vertical piece using wood adhesive and 300 by 100 by 50 angle brackets. To create the second half of your French cleat, cut six lengths of framing pine at approximately 200 millimetres long. 
you will need to cut a 45 degree angle on one end of each length. Now we're going to attach the second half of the French cleat to the backing board. To do this, measure up from the base of the leg along the vertical to its longest point and mark this length on the back of your party backdrop from the bottom. Screw your 200mm blocks onto the back of the frame with the shortest point of your 45 degree cut lined up with the mark you just made. This method creates a split batten, otherwise known as a French cleat, and is a tidy way to attach your backdrop to its leg support. To ensure you have an extra secure party backdrop, measure and cut six lengths of 67 by 18 mm pine and attach to your leg base allowing 6mm for the width of your MDF backdrop. This will stop your backdrop from slipping forwards. To finish off your party masterpieces, fill any holes with spack filler, wait to dry, then sand to a smooth finish, then prime and paint your sheets in whatever colours suit your party needs. And voila, your very own party backdrops.